Hello, my name is Arabella Sintram Parker. I'm the Houses and Gardens editor of Homes and Gardens magazine. The first day of the Chelsea Flower Show is just days away now, and with my gardening hat well and truly on, I've been having a look at what we might see when those metal gates finally open. In particular, I want to see Tom Stewart Smith's garden for Laurent Perrier, a modern take on a quiet, secluded and romantic garden. Romance and modernity are not automatic bedfellows in my mind, so I'll be intrigued to see how this works. Tom is incredibly skilled at creating naturalistic gardens, and his grove of Petula nigra, or birch trees, under the white flowers of aquilegia and iris, and acid green euphorbias will surely be the perfect way to soften the garden's focal point, a boldly sculpted but bronze pavilion designed by architect Jamie Fobert. From champagne and romance, we move to another of the themes of this year's Chelsea, literature, and to a garden that tells a specific story. Thomas Hoblin's design for Foreign and Colonial Investment Trust is what is called a conceptual garden, and features elements taken from the 18th century rites of passage novel, Candide ou l'Optisme, by Voltaire. The layout of the garden, with its variously sized beds of planting, represents the Turkish small holding where Condide speaks his immortal words, we must cultivate our gardens, while the two pools are the oceans he crosses in his travels. Thomas has chosen to use exotic plants that the character Condide would have seen as he travelled through the Mediterranean, such as yuccas and drought-tolerant succulents. These days they work well in warmer parts of Britain too. The Kebony, naturally Norway garden, highlights a theme that is key to Chelsea and the globe, namely the environment and sustainability. The designer's view of a Norwegian-style landscape garden is brought to life using both traditional and new materials that help protect the environment. The decked space, which includes a kitchen, day bed and shower, is for a year-round use and is built using Kebony, made from sugarcane waste. As this is intended as a space for outdoor living, night and day, the room is powered by solar energy and bioethanol. I shall also want to take a look at the global stone bee-friendly plants garden. Although under threat, the honey bee plays a crucial part in the balance of the ecosystem, and this garden takes the honeycomb as its main design motif. It contains plants such as salvia, agastache and sedum, as well as a wonderful red clover lawn, all ideal plants to encourage bees to forage in even the smallest garden. Finally, among the urban gardens, I want to see the gardening charity Thrive's The Unexpected Gardener. Intended for a mature yet stylish gentleman, the garden includes the current garden must-have, an outdoor flower place, as well as space for entertaining, non-slip flooring and easily accessible raised beds filled with herbs and iris. This is just the taster, of course, of what's happening at this year's Chelsea Flower Show. If you have a ticket and you're going to the show this year, have a wonderful time and pray for good weather.